Hi everyone, Michelle Crafty Servings. So we're gonna decorate up a birdhouse and I think it's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be bright. It's gonna be sort of outside of my box. Um, you know, I like rustic and, you know, sort of country uh, farmhouse. This isn't that, but I think it's gonna be really, really cute. So, all right, let me see if you're out there. I don't know why that popped up. See if you're out there. Let me say hi. This is the bird house we're going to be decorating. I already have it painted, but thought I'd show you. Hello, Linda. Hi, Donna. Hi, Lois. Hello, Kim. So this is gonna be bright and colorful. Um, it has black in it though, so, but to me that's sort of bright with this. So we'll see, I'm gonna, we have fabric for inspiration. You could probably see it peeking in here. We'll just push that back a little. Hi, Christine. Hello, Kathy. I did have a good day. I worked from home today, so I was doing a lot of work for the office at home. So um, I got quite a bit done actually, more than what I normally do. So hi, Joy. Hi, Sandy. Hello, Kathy. All right, so decorating up this birdhouse. This birdhouse, I believe is probably, I don't know if it's a Walmart, it's plaid, so it could be Walmart, it could be Hobby Lobby, it doesn't matter the size of the birdhouse. Um, this one, I, I like the size of it. The only thing I didn't paint on it, I think I gotta paint the legs on the other one, but I'll show you that. Hi Lorraine, how are you? Hello Renee. So I don't even know how much this was. I'm guessing like maybe $6 or something like that. It's real lightweight, um, might be a little more. I don't I don't know positively. Like I said, I'm not even sure. I've had two of them here for a while. I just thought I'd come on and decorate them up. Walmart, there you go, Laura. Yeah, I wasn't sure if it was Walmart or Hobby Lobby. They both have them, you know, and so I'm guessing it's probably six something, I would guess if it's at Walmart. All right, you wanna see the painted version? Ta-da. Okay, so I didn't paint these. I have to paint them yet. I'll paint them black, I think. Oh, I might paint them red. We'll see. I'm not gonna paint them now. We'll, we'll paint them later. But this is our birdhouse, okay? So I can tell you the colors I used was Anita's dark red. I'm gonna zone in on that. And the lamp black. That's usually the black that I use. I'm all, any color really would work. Hi, Shanna. I'm, I'm excited to see how it finishes too. So we'll see. So the only thing I'm going to add on here yet, um, I should show you my inspiration then. Isn't this beautiful? Let me hold it upright. This is my inspiration fabric. We're using some of the fabric out of here. So because of that, I'm gonna add some of this gold. I actually think I probably should have needed a different, a yellower gold. This one isn't quite as gold gold as I, I probably would want. Um, but we're gonna go with it. Isn't it pretty, Kathy? Brenda, thanks so much for the stars. I appreciate it. All right, so let me just see what this looks like. It's not as gold as what I want. Um, let me go grab, I think I have the other bottle just on the table. Let me just grab the other color. So I'm actually gonna use this color tomorrow night in my Magnolia in my party. 
Um, so that's why I knew I had it out. Glorious Gold, Deco Art Glorious Gold Metallics. We're gonna use that, because that's more of this color. Yeah, Ellen, I love this fabric too. It's, this isn't even open, or is it? Nope. And we got Cash saying hi now. He just finished eating. Right. Yeah. I didn't think he'd go. He doesn't usually eat when I'm not out there or when Larry's not out there, but he decided he was going to today. All right, and we're not going to use much of this gold. Okay, see the difference? So this is the glorious gold. Look at the difference of the golds. I mean, you have to really look, look at them. This matches so much better, that one with it and I'm just going to just get a little bit on the sides. You're not gonna see all of it. Actually, I think I'm gonna use a brush. You're not gonna see all of this. All of this. I'm just gonna try and get a little bit of it on these edges. You can certainly use a makeup brush too to do it. And it doesn't have to be perfect because this is a birdhouse. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just trying to get it up under this edge and down to the edge. So again, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'll just get some on the side. Some of this is gonna be covered when we're done. Is that makeup brush probably would work actually a little better. It'd be a little straighter than my brush. You could use, um, I'm going to do that. You can use, um, yeah, we'll do that. Then we just get the nice color. Um, you could also use paint marker. It's just quicker this way. Perfect, we're just roughing it on here. You're not gonna see all of it. I know. I don't even think I need it on the sides or on the black. I'm just gonna add it on there because we're gonna add some trim to make it bright and pretty. So that's all the gold I'm adding on. That's a beautiful fireplace. Thank you. Uh, let me just, Christine, Christine, thank you. Okay, let's get that out of the way. So now you see there's differences in gold. So I'm, you know, you match it up to what you're going to do. So that's, um, that's the birdhouse. So let's cut out some of these. I've already got some of these cut out. We're Mod Podging Fabric tonight. One of my favorite things to do. And we're just cutting out the ornaments. Now, I love these um, hangers that are on here. But for what I'm doing, it's not going to be long enough. I actually had a ribbon that was very similar to it that I just can't find. I might have used it all. Um, but we'll just see. And so we're going to cut out. And we're going to only cut out the ball part of it. And I'm going to leave a little bit of that black trim. I'm just cutting around. Actually, I'm, I'm, this one is cut off up here. I'm going to use that for something different. I'm going to go down and blow it. And I want the black all the way around. Um, but I think think I can cover up the one edge, so we're still going to cut it out and see. We'll fit it together. Thank you, Marjorie, for passing me on. I appreciate it. Isn't it pretty, Debbie? So this fabric, if I didn't mention, is from Joann's. Um, I went in Hobby Lobby. I knew what I wanted to do. I went in Hobby Lobby, and my local Hobby Lobby does not have much in fabrics. I don't know if other places do, but ours does not. Not in fabric. They have a lot of other stuff, but... Fabric is a little bit not as well. So I knew I wanted to go down to Joann's because they have a huge selection. 
So I'm also cutting off that top. Like I said, I love the trim that comes up like, you know, the hanger, but we can't really use it because I want the whole thing. Um, I want the whole thing, the hanger going all the way up. So we're just cutting this out. So um, I'm coming on at, you call it dinner time again. How many of you am I interrupting for dinner? So I think, wasn't it last night that I did come on? And we were making sloppy joes. Do you call it sloppy joes or hot tamales? I used to call it hot tamales and then some people called hot sloppy joes. I don't know what the difference, is there a difference? But we had that, so what's for tonight? I think I'm having popcorn tonight. <laughs> Mr. Crafty Servings is on a road trip for for supper at supper time here. Yeah, artist, isn't it beautiful? All right, so we're gonna cut out a couple more of these. I've got some already cut out. Let me just get this. Just cut it. It's a lot easier for me to cut, especially when I'm on a live that I don't have to be very careful then is to, to cut a piece out. 6.30 here, what time is it here? It's 5.30 here. So it is dinner time, I would think, for most people. We never eat this early though. Very, very seldom. Um, it's usually 6, 6.30. So it's, a lot of people eat earlier than that. I sort of wish we did, but Larry usually isn't always ready to eat supper this early. Deep fried tacos, that sounds delicious, Gloria. It sounds wonderful. All right, so I'm missing, let's see what else we got. 3.30 in California. You're not even thinking of dinner yet. Again, I'm leaving some of this black on here. Um, so I do need to mention something. I got a message overnight. Chicken, oh, that sounds delicious. I got a message overnight and it made me think and I'm remiss in some things that I do. Um, so there was somebody who signed up for our, the monthly crafting club um, through Magnolia under me, and she chose me specifically because you know she she likes what I do, she likes how I treat people. Well, I was remiss and haven't been sending out thank yous to the people that joined that crafting club. You know, she wanted to make sure that I don't forget about the people that do that. If it, she don't want me to get too big to forget why I'm here. So first I want to say thank you to all, everybody who's joined the crafting club, everybody who orders from me, everybody who, you know, when you order, order like my Etsy stuff, I usually, you know, I try and put a personal, just a little thank you on the invoice and, you know, it doesn't always get on, but I just want y'all to know I do appreciate y'all and you know, I did apologize. You know, sometimes life happens where there's so much going on in a person's life besides doing this. I try and give as much as I can, but I do forget sometimes. So I guess, you know, that's keeping me honest. Um, so I don't want people to think I forget about them. I don't want people to think that I'm getting too big to even think about it. You know, I try and give a lot. I try and give myself to you guys by doing this. But I do understand that I miss some things. So, um, I again, I want to say thank you for the ones that do uh, um, come on. The ones that order. But I fail to send personal notes. Sometimes that's hard, but I'm going to try and do better at least thanking people, and we'll see what we can get. All right, let's go back. So that was, that's what I just had to say. So 
roast pork. That sounds delicious, Lois. Yeah, I don't want people to think that I get so big that I don't care, you know, because that's not my intent. So it's because of you all that I can even do this. So, but it's calming for me. So I appreciate that too. I like that roast pork and, and mashed potatoes. I like that idea. Where do you live? <laughs> Sounds delicious. No, it's not okay. Like I said, I'm I'm gonna try and be better, but I can't make promises that I I know I won't be able to keep. I have a lot going on besides this. You know, this takes a lot of my time, my free time. The rest of my time is family, work. That's the rest of my time, you know, so this takes this digs into a lot of that, a lot of the family time. Um, well, I shouldn't say it. I mean, if there's family things happening, I'm there. Family is first, but I it's it's just a hard balance. Thank you, Sue. I appreciate it. New Jersey, New Jersey. All right, I'm on my way. It'll take me a little bit to get a plane. All right. So I wanted to show you too, there was this fabric too. This, you could do the same thing. It would be beautiful. Look at it, it also has ornaments on it. You could add flowers. So that was another fabric that I got that was beautiful. All right, let's get going. Let's, enough about that, I am sorry. I just wanna say I'm sorry and I do my best. I can't always do everything, no one, I apologize for that. Um, some people do, Debbie, um, but it's just hard. It's hard when you have a life outside of this. You know, it really is. So I, I try, but it, I can't always make that promise. All right, so what I'm going to do is we're going to be Mod Podging this on. I'm also going to be putting ribbon up from, isn't that going to be pretty on there? This fabric is from Joann's. So in the ribbon, like I said, I did have a ribbon that had those polka dots like the fabric did, but I also have this ribbon. Um, let me see if I can turn it so you can see. It has that little bit of sparkle edges. So I'm gonna cut some of these. So I have them ready and they're gonna go underneath the fabric. I might need some longer ones. We'll just see. I'll cut a bunch of them. Maryland fam family does always come first for me. Um, it honestly does, and I think a lot of people that watch me know that. But I should say, and I shouldn't say that this takes away from family time, but it's my free time. Um, like almost every minute of my free time that's not family or work is in this. And it, it gets tiring, it really does, but I love it. I, I love doing this. But again, if I'm remiss and not um, thanking people, I apologize for that. So I, I, I will try and do better. You don't have a Joann's, Carla? Oh, I love Joann's for the fabric. That's, that's what I love it for. All right, we're going to get out our Mod Podge and start Mod Podging this on. I've got a bunch of the strips. I have a bunch of the ornaments. And then we're gonna decorate it up. Yeah, I think it's gonna be pretty too, Donna. So, um, we're gonna just put this on and we're, like I said, we're gonna put this all over on this bottom part. We're gonna wrap it around in places. We're gonna overlap. And you use enough um, Mod Podge when you use fabric because that's your glue. It absorbs in. Mod Podge is very forgiving on um, with fabric. It, it doesn't wrinkle like paper does. All right, I just 
need to lay that there. Okay, we're gonna lay this down. I wanna make sure it doesn't go over that hole. And I also need to put, and I can always, I'll have to cut some of these off. I'll just put them down far enough. I wanna put these ribbons underneath so it looks like it's hanging by that ribbon. You gotta make sure you have that ribbon nice and straight too. And then just rub that down. Let, and we'll Mod Podge over it. I don't always Mod Podge over fabric, but I think we're gonna do it on this. We'll see, we'll see. All right, and then we gotta add another ribbon under this one. Okay, you gotta make sure they're nice and straight under there. If I need to trim the ribbons off, I will. And just press it down good. Um, I'm missing a little under here. Okay, is that pretty? Just tuck that down. You're not gonna see that little bit that's down there, but make sure you get it pushed down really good all over. I need a little more on here. And I think so, that's a tip. You'll have to get it on that ribbon too. sure it's all down so it's gonna be a little bit putsy okay and because the ribbon yeah I didn't even think of that so the ribbon you need to get some on that ribbon to be able to push that top down isn't that pretty so we're just gonna overlap some of these now this one we're gonna put up a little higher I'm gonna put them all the way around Thanks, artists. I love using fabric. I love fabric in a lot of things. And even if I don't use the fabric, I get inspiration from fabric. It's okay if you get it up on the edges. You're not gonna see it. All right, let's... Um, just looking at the next one that I want here. We're gonna put this one here. I'm just gonna overlap it a little bit. Actually a little crooked. Let's add that ribbon under there too. Happens that ribbon goes right on the edge, and that's not the easiest to do. There you go, push it down really good. Add the ribbon here. I think it's gonna be cute, Tammy. I do, I do. You're gonna get it on your fingers. So if you don't like that feeling, then put gloves on, but. So cute, cute, cute. Wait, let's see what the next one will be. I think we're gonna do a higher one, that'll look cute on there. So um, tomorrow night is the mystery hostess party. We are like, I think it was like over $450 worth of free product now. It might even be higher than that. Um, if you have not um, gone out and looked at the event page, um, you know, go check that out. So. Crafty Servings with Magnolia Design is a group off of here. It's my group page for Magnolia. You can, um, you go there and join that, and then you can see the event off of that. I think the party itself you'll be able to see in both places. Now, this one goes up so high, I don't think we even need the ribbon on it. Just 
just a little, maybe just a little, little snibble on this one. Um, so you, you do have, you cannot watch that party in here, but I really think you're going to love what I'm making. Um, I have an idea. I started it last night, so I have it a little bit roughed up and, um, I really think you're going to love it. So I hope you come out to the Crafty Servings of Magnolia Design and go join the event off of there. Um, it, you don't have to be at the party in order to be included in the hostess prize. Uh, you just have to do a minimum order of $30 or more without shipping and handling um, in, in on the party page or on the party link, which I have out there. All right, so this one... I am getting everyone. We're going to do this one over on this edge. Um, so you do have to do that. So just go check out that page and you'll see more details. But the hostess gives, there's going to be so much. So what time? Is, the party is at 8 o'clock Central Standard Time. Um, uh, Central Standard Time, 8 o'clock p.m is what time it's going to start. It'll go about an hour, maybe a little bit longer. I actually might. So the project I have that I'm going to do, let me just tell you, is I plan on doing um, chalking. So I plan on doing a project with that. But I might do a real quick inking project too. We'll see how long it goes. So I know some people like seeing inking. And so I might do both. We'll, we'll see how it goes. All right, I might need... Let's do over here. I need to make sure I get, oh, look how pretty that is. Look how pretty that green is on there. I love it. So we're gonna do this one over here yet. I might need to cut out one more. So excited about the party. Oh, I'm glad, Kathy. I'm excited too. Well, if not, you watch the replay. I hope you are, and there'll be prizes. You can win prizes during the party, um, participating during that. You're also, I've been throwing in names in a bucket um, of names I've seen that have been commenting on the posts in that event, and all of you are in a drawing, and we're, we even throw more names in during the party into there for a drawing. Uh, so um, please just go out there and get commenting. I'm throwing names in, and I have quite a few prizes I'm giving away, so let's put I'm going to put this one a little lower because that one's higher. Just trying to make it all sort of blend together. Oh, I think I'm crooked. My ribbon's going to be right on the seam again. Hi, Mavis. Yes, Kim family is always first. So, and that's why I had to postpone it. There was something going on. I can't say what it is. I'm not going to. Um, but, so that's why I had to postpone it till this week. Uh, but it's something that I needed to do. And I would, if I had to do it again, I'd have to. But it's, we're, we're all good. We're, we should be good. Okay. Would you love it, Sandy? I do love it too. I really, really do like it. All right, let's get some in here. Um, I'm gonna have to get some more out here, get that wrapped around. We're almost done getting this all the way around and then we're just gonna do a little bit of decorating on it yet. Make it even cuter. We like said, this is bright and colorful. I don't always do bright and colorful, but I'm liking it. Cute, cute, cute. Look at that. All right, so now I need my last one. I wonder if I can fit this one up in here yet. Or if that's too much. I think I, let me just see. I think I have to um, cut one more out. 
We'll make it a special one. Find where I was cutting. All right, I think. You know what? Mm -hmm. Trying to see the best use. Okay, I think we're gonna do this one. Not from Magnolia. Are you in Canada? Teresa Beard, not from Magnolia. Are you in Canada? Um thank you all for always answering. I know there's several of you that go out and answer some of the people because I don't always see the comments on here. I appreciate all my followers that do that. I do try and look at comments after. I'm limited though of how much I can comment um, with Facebook. So all of a sudden I get a notice saying, you're spamming people. And it's only like a hundred comments, you know, just answering people. Thank you, Diane. Kat, thanks for passing me on, I appreciate it. So if you stick on, we'll do random act of kindness drawing at the end like I always do. Okay, I think this one will work in here perfectly. It'll fit in there just right. And then we're gonna mod podge the over the whole thing. Like I said, I don't always mod podge over the fabric that I do, but I'm gonna do it on this, just to make sure everything stays down good. Um, on top of each other. Oh, I had another ornament that was really pretty here that I didn't use. We'll see, we might let's see if there's room for it. Okay, just put that ribbon under there. My fingers are so full of Mod Podge right now. Everything's sticking. Okay, I love this one. <laughs> I might have to, I think I, let's see if I can find a spot for it. So full though. I don't think I'm gonna have a spot. It's, I don't want to make it so full. Let me just, uh, oh, I was going to cover this up, but I've got a Mod Podge over. We'll Mod Podge over it. Make sure everything stays down. And then we'll finish decorating on it. I said, I don't always Mod Podge on top of fabric, but I think just because of how much I was overlapping here and piecework, I think I needed to do it just so it all stays together. Make sure those ribbons stay down. Thanks, Rita. Yeah, I think it's gonna be really pretty and bright and I just have a little bit more decoration to put on. Not too much, a little bit though. But we're gonna to keep it bright. I was thinking of a little moss in a, in a couple places, but the moss I have is not bright and I think that might take away from it. So we're, we're probably gonna end up using maybe a little raffia again. I use raffia a lot. We might end up doing that. Okay, it's almost all down. There's a couple ribbons that I see I'll have to clip, but I think we're okay for now. And I'm putting it in this area here too, just to make it look similar to the rest, even though there's nothing there. Put that one off. Okay. A 
little more here. Thank you, artists, for passing me on. Thanks, Paula. It says, getting dark by you is starting to get dark. I don't like these short days. It's so dark in the mornings. And it's already darkening up here. All right. So I'm just going to put this aside for now in case I need it. I'm just going to set it in there for now. Um, I do want to dry it just a little. So I'm going to get my noisy hair dryer out because I don't have my heat gun next to me. Five degrees in Arkansas, my little Miss Pen. I think it's 32 degrees. Ooh, chilly. Alright. This is really loud. Sorry. Oh my gosh, did you see all the fly? Oops. Yeah, I don't know how cold it's getting. Thank <laughs> you. 
pretty dry because we're, what we're adding on, I think I want it really dry. Poor Cash! <laughs> oh, he's not neglected. He's sitting here with his tail wagging. Can you see his tail wagging? He's fine. <laughs> they all love you, Cash. I wonder why. They all love you. Oh, now he's gonna go on. Oh, he was going on the table. I thought he was gonna knock it because he's tall enough to knock my table. He's knocked my camera over during a live one time too. Your dog got the move. <laughs> all right. I have everything. All those ribbons and everything flew away. Okay. Is that pretty? There's still a little bit in places, but I think we can make do. I think we can make do. Let's get our glue gun up here. All right, so I'm, I need I need little pinions. Ah, oh. so we are putting greenery on. I gotta get, oh, get all this. <laughs> you came back. Came back for more. All this Mod Podge off of my fingers. All right, so I do have, I have greenery we're gonna put on here, but I think it'll be pretty to add a little of this gold trim on. What do you think? If we add a little of that gold trim around, I think that'll look pretty. We're gonna be adding snow on, we're gonna be adding greenery on, uh, we're gonna be adding a bird on. Um, so I think we're gonna do that. Okay, so we're gonna start this trim in the back. I'll just put little dabs in places. You have two more Yorkies. Okay, so it's a Yorkie mixed with a Maltese. Oh, I'm glad you like the trim. I said some of this is going to be covered. Just going to do this all the way around. And it's thin enough that I don't have to cut it to make it stay on the, or to, I don't have to cut it to make it fit in the corners. All right, we're gonna put a little dab here. I just want little dabs in places. It's so hot, it's like bubbling when I put it on here. I burned my finger last night. We're not gonna do it again. I'm so used to burning my finger though. It's gonna be cute with lights on. Ah, I didn't think the lights. That's a cute idea. Lights would be very cute on it. I might, I might add a little, little lights from Hobby Lobby on there or from Dollar Tree on there. We'll see. a kitty car in fur for great grandson. Oh, that sounds cute for a costume. That sounds adorable. It looks like a turning a werewolf. That sounds adorable. What is the name of the group to join? It's Crafty Servings with Magnolia Design. I think it's Crafty Servings with Magnolia Design CO pops possibly, but you'll see it. So it's a group off of my page. So you go out and join. Um, I do have to approve, so I'll go out and approve again tonight. And then you'll see the event off of there. So make sure you check out the event page off of there. And you'll be able to comment on some of the games that are already going on. Some of the, you know, the more comments I see, the more names I'm throwing in a hat. Um, not a hat, but a, a tub. 
All right, so as I see names, I'm throwing them in. All right, so we're getting, some people have been commenting really a lot. You're getting a name in a whole bunch, which is good because you're taking the time to do that. I think so, Kathy. putting just a real thin line of this glue because I don't want to see it. I should have put on that corner there. I gotta get it in the corners. If you don't put it on the corners, it seems to gap on that corner. So we'll do it again here. There we go. You can see my strings coming off almost all the way around. Thank you, Debbie, I appreciate it. Thanks, Marjorie. I mean, it's a little bit time consuming doing this. At least you didn't have to watch me paint it too. I did that ahead of time. <laughs> uh, oh gosh, if I had to do all that and let it dry. But I'm so excited for tomorrow night and I'm so excited for y'all. Anybody that comes in and sees it, you have to again watch the live on, I think it'll be on the event page and in that group page. I think it'll be in both places, but I can't put it in here. So you have to go out there and join to see it, but I think it's gonna be so cute when I make it. I'm so excited to make it. Um, like I said, I prepped a little bit for it and I might even do an inking um, project if I have time. But I love what I'm making and I'm excited. I'm excited to show y'all. And the stencil I'm using is so pretty. So I haven't used it yet. I'm excited for that too. Okay. All right, that's what we got so far. Now, I thought I would put it around down here too on that little edge. So I gotta start on the back again. I wasn't sure if I'd have enough. So we're just going to add on the back. I said I wasn't sure I'd have enough for this, but I do. So go under Crafty Servings. So Crafty Servings with Magnolia Design. Is somebody out here, once in a while I have some people that will go out and grab a link. Is somebody out here on that group page? Otherwise, I'll post a link after. Honestly, if you look back at my posts, otherwise on here on my Crafty Servings page, look where it talks about the mystery hostess party. Okay, um, look on there and go join that. Um, or private message me and I'll make sure I get you that link, okay? So, but otherwise, if you look, it's off of my page here, you'll see, um, if you look at groups, you'll see Crafty Servings with Magnolia Design. That's the group page. Um, and then all those, all the posts are on the event that's on that page. So you look at the events when you're on that page and you find the, the October event. So, and I think it's called Full Moon. It was actually the dates. I don't know if I was able to fix the dates on there. I probably couldn't. So if you see some posts with the dates of last week, it's because I needed to postpone it for personal reasons at the last minute. Okay, so if you see that it had last week's date on, it's really tomorrow. That's just really cute, isn't it? It's so pretty. This sort of looks like Japanese to me, doesn't it? Like those Japanese colors, like the, what do you call them, kimonos? 
um, it reminds me of like a real pretty kimono. Is that Japanese? I think that's Japanese, right? The kimonos. Actually, my friend Janice, one of my followers, sent me a really pretty one too, and that one is with teals. She knew that was my favorite color, and she sent me one. It's beautiful. All right, and let me finish. Almost done with this part. We got a little green and a little snow yet, and a birdie. I was just going to say it looks like a come on. It does, right? It does. I, I think so too. I love the colors. I really do. I said that red in the background um, really makes the ornaments pop out. And that fabric really is my inspiration for this. It, I pulled the colors for for it out of there. There we go. Isn't that pretty? I should have my other light on and be a little brighter for you. But is what it is. All right, let's. I think we're done with this. We don't need this anymore. All right, we're going to. Now I got this at Joann's. These are all on sale. They had like pretty big sale on their stuff. Look at the, it's so little, little, tiny little ones. So we're gonna pop some of these off. I don't know if we need three or four. We'll see what we need. But these are gonna hang down. Can you see that? And, I think we need four of them. Maybe we need a fifth one. We might need a fifth one. But aren't they, and they actually have a little sparkle on, but we're gonna add some snow to it. You would, I would use burlap on the bottom. That's a cute idea. See, and that's what, I've got some moss here. I'm not crazy about the moss. So I might add in a little, raffia because it's more the colors that we need and just because you know i like raffia all right so i'm i'm not going to glue all the way to the bottom i'm just going to glue some of these tops because i like that it hangs off a little bit see where my front is here Not a Dollar Tree birdhouse on the roof. Not, now a Dollar Tree birdhouse on the roof. That would be cute too, right? I actually have some of them. I have a bird though. I have a bird here. That'll look really cute on the roof. It'll look very cute on the roof. All right, I just want to see what side I'm putting up. I think this side. Yes, this birdhouse. So this was the birdhouse before it was painted. And this is what it's looking like. So, and it's easy. It was paint and fabric. That's that's all we've put on so far. Paint and fabric. And just find a fabric that you love. Um, I love mod podging with fabric. So I'm going to put one in every one of these coming down. So I'm actually going to have to pull one more. Isn't that, it is a big difference too, right? All right. And we're going to, we're going to add some snow on here yet. Um, get some, some of that snow, snow tech on. I think that's going to be pretty. Okay. 
but this this greenery is so dainty um dainty 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 <laughs> this greenery is so dainty um it, it it's from like i said joann's is where this is from so i had gotten it the same time i got the fabric so it was just recently and they had it on sale at 50 percent off the greenery One more off. I thought, oh, that's a mistake. I put it really close to my finger, but it didn't hit. Thanks, artist. It's just really, really dark in here because I don't have my other light on. It got dark really fast. All right, is that cute? Um, okay, so I think, like I said, I've got this moss here, but I don't think, to me, this moss doesn't go. Let's just see. Well, you know what? It probably isn't too bad. The other option I have, okay, I'm gonna go flip that other light on because it just seems really dark for me. It got dark outside so fast here. So what do you think? Do we do the moss? Or do we do... Yeah, I am gonna put some moss in the hole. I definitely am gonna do that. Either some moss or do we do my messy raffia? Either do the moss or we do the messy raffia with the bird on. I think the oh, I, th I almost think the moss, right? I wasn't sure about the moss, but I think the moss actually works, doesn't it? Do you like the moss? So let me know, are we doing moss or raffia? No moss or raffia. I am adding, I am adding snow on it. I do think the moss actually does pull out some of the colors that are in the fabric. Yeah, I, I agree. All right. So we're going to put just a little bit of moss up here, and then we're going to add the bird up there. I'm being really careful <laughs> that I hope I don't touch it. I think that's really pretty. Yeah, I wasn't sure, but I think that actually that that works on there. We are going to add we are going to add a little bit of um He's going to be our final touch. So we're going to add him on here. So we'll add some snow on. Okay, and I do, we gotta add a little bit of moss. I think I'm gonna put a little moss on the bottom too. Not much though. Okay, we're gonna wad this up. Put a little moss on this hole. Yeah, artists, I like this greenery too. That little bit of moss on the whole wall. I 
I don't know if I want to do too much. I may not put it down on the bottom. Maybe, maybe just a couple little places. Like I said, I'm going to be adding snow too, but I don't want to take so much away from the ornaments. So I don't know. I think we're going to stick with more of the snow on here. Um, the other thought I have here, we're going to take another one of these. And I thought I could take these apart and add a little bit. We're going to add a little bit of them down there. We'll see if that makes a difference. Maybe. I just don't know that I like the moss down there, too. I think that takes away from it. Yeah, I don't like the moss down there either. So we might add maybe just a couple little, like a little branch over here. We'll do that. Let's let's do that. I'm not gonna add a lot. I'm just gonna add that little bit there. Maybe just a little piece. I think just on the one side even. I, I don't want to take away from everything else. Not that. The only other thing I was thinking, and we're going to see what it what works with it. Okay, so I think we're done with this. I do have, I have some of these, this black um, feathers, but I don't even know that I want that. Oh, that, that black is so pretty with that though. Let's see. We're going to add the snow on first and see about that. Okay, the other thought is, I have some of these gold beads. And my thought was I could put them like on each one of the tops of these ornaments. I don't know how I can even show you what I'm doing, but you know what? On the corners, it wouldn't really work. I thought about buttons, but... I don't have the, I need like little gold buttons on the corners here. Yeah, I don't like them either. So that's not it. I also have some of this, which I'm not seeing. I think we're done except for snow. I have some of this and I have some of this red. You know what? Some of this might be cute in there. Let's look at it after we do some snow, okay? So I have the snow tack. And I had to pick up a new bottle because my other one was so dried up. I hadn't used it for a while. Leave the cardinal to build a nest on top of the birdhouse. Yep, the cardinal will be up here. All right, so I'm just going to take some of the snow. and add it we're gonna add it on some of that moss just batch it up we're gonna put some on the side too Oh, this is looking cute, 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 right? How do you like it? How do you like it? All right, I don't sing. <laughs> I 
Isn't that Toby Keith? Thanks for the hearts. Okay, dinner is on. What is the snow? The snow is snow text. You get deco art. Okay, you get that by the paint. Um, I'm not sure if you can get it like at a Walmart. You might be able to, but it's definitely at craft stores, um, Hobby Lobby, Joann's. And we're going to have to add a little to the bird too. It was a snowy night. All right, we're going to put a little bit on this one. Got my moss and my snow tech here. A little on. We're going to add extra down here. That's what catches the snow, right? The fabric is from Joann's. The fabric and the greenery is from Joann's. So I can show you the fabric again. I love it. I, I really love it. I knew I wanted to do something with fabric on this birdhouse and something with winter. Um, but Hobby Lobby local near me didn't have really anything that I saw that I wanted that would that I thought would look good for something like this. What are you thinking? So I do think I have to put a little bit. Do I have to put some on the bird? Do I have to put some on the bird? I don't think I want to put it on the bird though. Let's put the bird on. Hi, Martha. Thanks, Cheryl. Okay. Now I do, yeah, I like that little bit of color on there. I was thinking of putting a little on the ornaments, but because it's under, it really wouldn't catch snow, right? I, I think we're like done. Snow on a bird. Yeah, I don't think the bird needs snow, right? So the only other thing, let's see. We'll see if it'll add a little, little cute to it. I think we're done with the snow. So if you didn't see what I used, this again is snow text. You get this, uh, it's deco art. You can get at Hobby Lobby, Joann's, anywhere. I don't think you could probably get at Walmart. You might, it depend, depends how big it is. Yep, I don't think snow is on the sitting bird. We don't need snow on him. All right, so the only thing I'm thinking, and where did it go? Let's see. I think even adding a little bit of this twine in here. Let's just see what it will look like. Just weaving it through a little bit. Be careful. I do think that's gonna be pretty. We're gonna add, we're gonna, we're gonna go for it. Stick that up under here. Let that stick. And it's just gonna add that little bit of red in there. You love it as it is, Aunt Mimi? I think we just have to call it done. I don't know. I, I think I like this. It's not going to be a lot. I think I like that in there. We're going to see. It's just 
to add that little bit of touch and get it to dry in there. It's not going to stay in there right now. I like the idea of having that little bit of a little bit of red. Let me just see if we do little pieces and do it a little shorter, what that would look like. And otherwise, we're leaving it off. I know y'all like it, or some of you like it off. I like the idea of just adding that little bit of red in here. Yeah, I think I, I like the idea of this red. Let's just see what we can, I'm trying to, these berries aren't as forgiving sometimes with coming apart. So let's just add a little bit in a couple places. Just to add that little pop of color Being difficult. Okay, that's a little better. So let me just show you. Now I gotta try and not touch. See, just adding that little bit of berry in places. I like adding that pop of color. I do like that. Coming apart. Yeah, that's better. Let me just add a little over on this side. So we don't need a lot of it. I just want a little twined in there. What do you think? I'm gonna put one more off the back and then we're done. And then we'll do random act kind of drawing. So this, the these pit berries are Hobby Lobby. I've got a whole roll here of them in the ribbon department. Um, is where you get them. So it'll last like forever because I don't use them very often. In here and I'll show you all the way around and we'll do random act kind of drawing don't forget tomorrow night is the Magnolia party the Mr. Hostess party look at the um, make crafty servings with Magnolia group page that's where you got to get out get to the event off of there okay all right here we go they turn all cute just show all the way around. I have a little bare spot somewhere. Just see what that are. So it, look at the bird houses. So this was the before. This is the after. I think it turned out pretty cute. Right? All right. Thanks for the hearts. Thanks for the thumbs up. Thank you, Gloria. All right, so let's do random act of kindness drawing. I was just looking. I had something else in my head and I forgot what it was. All right, are we ready? Thank you. All right, let's do random act of kindness drawing. Let's try and go back farther. Point. Okay, I had somebody on here. I'm going to reach out to her after. It kept saying, is watching, is watching, and it was just nonstop. I think she was having problems coming on. Okay, so I have to go back past this is watching, and it's just nonstop. I am sorry. Okay, it's, I have two people. 
there nonstop. Okay, I've got the one that I've got here now. The next one that I do see a comment, it says, so did we, Debbie Kopidlansky. I said, there's two people on here that look like they were must have been getting kicked out nonstop. I don't know why. Because it was nonstop I was seeing is watching. So I, you know, I apologize and I'm going way back on that. Okay. So, um, yeah, I'm going to reach out to those two people and just see, did they have problems watching if that was that. The birdhouse was a Walmart birdhouse. I wasn't sure if it's Hobby Lobby or Walmart. It was a, a Walmart plaid was the brand. Um, somebody else had said that it was actually the plaid brand was Walmart. So, and we got that. The fabric itself was Joann's. Okay, it's got all these pretty ornaments in. It was beautiful. That was my inspiration. Um, so, there we go. I think it turned out really pretty. And um, I hope I see you guys at the party tomorrow night. If you can't make the party, you can still be a part of the hostess gifts. Um, you have to shop the link off of that party, though. Um, and, I mean, I have posted the link in here to the party. You do have to put your order in on there in order to be included for the hostess gifts. So, all right, y'all have a good night. And go eat dinner. And I'm going to go eat maybe some popcorn for dinner. <laughs> so, y'all have a good one.